Okay, now that we are on Adobe Illustrator, let's go to File, click on Place, and let's start by importing the image that we download and convert on the previous video. Let's click on Place and uh, left click to, to place the map on our canvas. Let's hit on the Selection tool and let's adjust the, the image. So press Shift and then we can drag the image so it stays on the same resolution. Let me uh, center the map on the page. Let's see if I, if I can find the center right here. And let's rename this layer. For this project, it's important to give names to all layers so that we can later manipulate the elements of the interactive map. Next, I will create a new layer by clicking on this button in the bottom right corner. This will be the layer where the main background elements will be represented with a light brown color on the map. So I will name it uh, main background. To start creating the main background, we need to access the pen tool located in the tools tab. It's this one. Let's choose a place to start and zoom in in that place. So for that, we click on Z and we start dragging the mouse to the place we want to start. For example, right here at the top. Let's start drawing the edges of the map. That is the layer that is, the, that is at the bottom of the image. To do this, we can start by defining the stroke color. I'll choose this black one and we can start by clicking on the on the left button of the mouse we can start drawing to make these curves just keep the mouse pressed and adjust accordingly since this process is quite repetitive i will quickly advance the video to the final part of the main background design you can see that I drew lines over the trees right there, which is not a problem since the trees will be on a layer above this one. To close the geometry, make sure to connect the ending vertex with the starting vertex. And let's change the fill color to light brown and remove the outline. And to do this, we just need to choose the eyedropper tool and select the desired color. I will now block the editing of this layer and toggle the visibility of the PNG image. And now let's proceed to create the second background of the map. Let's then draw the lands identified in green, which represents the places where the animals are. Let's now click on create new layer again in the bottom right corner. And we can rename it the layer, for example, as the second background and we can be a little more specific dash grass for example and we need to change this one as well to main background dash sand that's it before we start drawing the second layer let me move this to the top and move the percentage of the opacity do this by clicking on properties and changing the opacity value. In my case, I will choose 30%. Let's select the layer we want to work on and use the pen tool again to draw all the terrain represented in green. Let me zoom in in the map, change the stroke to the black color and the fill color to none. And now we can start drawing all the polygons again. I will move this part forward once again and just make sure to contour all the elements with the exception of the trees. After we have all the elements created, we need to give them a color again, but this time uh, I will do it differently. I'll start by using the selection tool to select all the elements I want to color, but it's super important that only the desired layer is active, so all the others must be locked with the locker. This time I will click right there on fill, 
and choose the color manually. I will select this green and click OK and remove the outline. As we can see, our map starts to take on some shape. That's all for this video, I hope you liked it. Next time, we will continue in Adobe Illustrator drawing trees, water bodies and the tunnels that are represented on the original map.